David Axelrod is the president's senior advisor. This afternoon, I asked him how Mr. Obama will underscore the gravity of the situation and yet make Americans optimistic about the future. Well, there's no doubt that he has to strike a balance tonight. I think he is hopeful that we can work our way out of the morass we're in. But he also needs to be re, uh, very direct with the American people about what that's going to entail. He absolutely will, I hope, leave people with a sense that there's a better day. He believes that deeply, and he has a sense of how we need to get there. You started to say realistic, and you stopped yourself. Any reason for that? No. I, I think, you know, one of the things that impresses me, Katie, looking at your polling and uh, other public polls I've seen uh, is is that the American people are realistic. They understand that we have significant problems and it's going to take some time to work through those problems. So uh, we, we put our trust in the American people. He's going to treat the American people like adults and and, and share with them the truth about where we are and where we need to go. Having said that, there seems to be some trepidation, even anger, about the mortgage bailout plan. How do you explain that this is not going to be helping out somebody's brother-in-law who put down no money, spent too much money on his house, and basically cut corners while other families feel like, listen, we did everything right. Right. No, and I think most people have done everything right. Uh, but despite the fact that they've done everything right, they've seen their home values plummet because of what someone down the street did. And part of what we want to do is restore home values. And nothing we're doing is meant to, uh, to help the irresponsible. It's, we are not going to allow speculators who bought homes to flip them uh, and but make quick profits. But what about just people who cut corners and, and put no money down and, Our, and spent way too much money? This program will not help people who are living way beyond their means stay in their homes. We want to help the people who are paying their mortgages uh, but are now uh, strapped to the limits uh, refinance uh, so that they have a better chance to stay in their homes. We want to help and reward responsibility. What about nationalizing some of the banks? Have you ruled that out? Our commitment is to uh, get uh, credit flowing again in this country and to have a strong vibrant private uh, financial sector, which has served this country well for a very long time. Well, isn't owning shares of Citibank technically nationalization? Well, but uh, I'm not going to get into the details of any particular uh, company. Our goal is to have these pr uh, companies uh, privately and competently managed uh, and uh, to restore them to health. And uh, that's, that's exactly what we uh, will do. When you were running this campaign, did you ever envision inheriting this job at a time when the country is in such deep trouble? Well, it was obvious that there were problems. The president used to joke when we were in the campaign plan. He'd read the paper in the morning and he'd turn around and say, you know, there's still time to throw this thing. Uh, but, you know, the truth is that he's taken, uh, that he, he, he says to us, and it's kind of the, 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 the creed, creo by which we operate, that if you're going to do this job, do it when it counts. And it counts right now.